walking to Starbucks. What can we get for you today? Tip, enable airplane oh, mode and do not disturb mode. This is your seat. I thought it was something popped up there. Hello, welcome to oh. Tribe Time Videos, my office oh. edition. We're not, the office is not moving, but we are. So you guys talk about something while I try to find some music. Hold on. Hold on. While I try to find some music. Hold on. Hold on. Does he have to pass or something? Thanksgiving's in three days. What? Wait. What? Oh yeah! I'm sorry! <laughs> I love it! Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> we, okay, just to let you in a little secret, we're trying to play this game with you that we are uh, just, when you watch this, like Thanksgiving, we have no clue how when this is going out because Andrew's doing it. And Andrew has a way of waiting till that last second to get it all done. Hmm. Oh, I can't really touch it. Here's his reasons. He's giving his reasons. Listen, uh -uh. I can't I, touch I it tomorrow. A, I have a valid reason. What's your valid reason? Oh, you're going somewhere. My med tomorrow. pat tomorrow. Med pat. For those of you who don't know, Google it. Medic physical agility test. Wow. That's literally what it means. That's intense. How many push-ups can you do, Andrew? Well, I have Do you have to do push-ups for this? Thing? No. What? What? I, what kind physical. of agility test is this? I have to do simulated CPR. What? I, oh, so it's how long, it's not push-ups, it's how long you can push down on someone's chest. That's <laughs> it! That's exactly <laughs> I right. I do 150. Because haven't you heard when Chuck Norris do, does push-ups, he doesn't do, he doesn't, he doesn't <laughs> do push-ups, he pushes down the earth. That's how Chuck Norris does push-ups. That's what, dudes, what is dude? He's having trouble talking today. Dudes, I ate too much bran muffins. <laughs> All right, so if we're the Memphis, so, so doo doos, don't forget to pay your doo doos. All right, now here's the crazy part. So okay. this is the Thanksgiving edition. We have no clue when it's going out. If it goes out after Thanksgiving, just laugh as we talk about turkeys. Yes. Okay, turkey. Tell me <laughs> what <You're> are <laughs> what are what are the things you'll have to do for your medical physical agility test. physical agility test. Number one, get out of the truck. Out of the ambulance. Zephyr. Step one is get out of the hey, truck. That <laughs> it takes talent because I have fallen out of the truck. I'm just saying, anything can happen. <laughs> With you, usually does. All right. So, but there's something happening. Getting out of the truck, and I'm picturing in my brain all of these medical professionals, and that they literally just had to number one get out of the truck. And I'm thinking, and these are the people we're trusting our lives to when we're like laying on the side of the street. Well, you know, I kind of want there to be more well, to thing. your test. Than just no, the if they the fall truck. out of the truck, they can't help you at that's, all. That's true. No, okay. Step Step one, one, get out of the truck. Is literally, because you have like two steps and then you're in the truck, two steps, you're on the ground. Okay. So get out of the truck. And if you're if you're in Union County, it's three steps because it's jacked up a little higher. All right. Come on. No, the front's down. <laughs> that's what, it looks like that. <laughs> you have to step over the LED lights to exit the bottom. All right. So what else do you have to do? Step two. Step two. Walk to the back of the ambulance and pull the stretcher out. Okay, so pull the stretcher out. Pretty important. Do you have to do this within a certain amount of time? Yeah, you have six and a half minutes to do this whole thing. Okay, number three. Number three is you then, you have a bar of a weight that simulates the stretcher. And right. you walk backwards up the stairs, and then you walk backwards down the stairs. Okay, whoa, whoa, whoa. So you walk backwards up the stairs. Yes. And then you turn around and walk backwards over. Yes. How it's much like is four it? steps. How much does this thing weigh? I have no idea. Probably about the same amount as the stretcher. Wait, you put the bar on the stretcher? Like no, it's a no you, you're holding the bar, so you're simulating like you're holding the stretcher. Well, they just give you the stretcher. So you stand there. I'm sorry, Trevor, you're in my way. This reminds us of the time when him and Billy did a video, and he did CPR on Billy. You remember that video? Oh, yes, I yes, did. Yes, I'm having flashbacks. Okay, go ahead. Go ahead. They got flagged for the office, too. Oh, my gosh, go ahead. Yeah, and you're, you're supposed to you stand there like this. Okay. Uh -huh. Why can't they just give you the stretcher to walk with instead of some weight? Because you need somebody else. Oh, I got you. So you have to take the test on your own. Yes. Gotcha. Well, about four different so people. You can't are cheat off your neighbor. Well, because you have like four people following you. That makes time. sense. Okay, so number four. That was number three. Oh, that was five. Then you got to do the little stretcher thing over. It's fake turf that you throw little pieces of wood underneath. This should be an ESPN sporting event. 
There's a whole YouTube video on it, too. I'll put a link in the description. <laughs> Keep going. How to pass what the impact. It's exactly right. Yeah, so you go down and then you go back. Yes, yes, okay. And then you, I think if you go to the CPR, you have to do 150 chest compressions. Woo! That's when it gets crazy, right there. Feel the burn. What? It's painful. Dude, 150 is not, it's, it is not easy. Because every 30, you're normally supposed to stop. And you're supposed to be doing it too. Once I was afraid. How was that? <laughs> That's a, <laughs> I don't know. You got to put your fingers like this. This is how they those, did it. For those of you who don't know what we're talking about. What do you do with your fingertips or your, like, thumbs? What's the way? Like, how do you... I bet you fly. Like, so, like, but are you I'm pressing like this? Yeah, you're pressing like this. By my side. My so many... Because you're going right. So I was right wrong. Obviously. But I was wrong. So, that's how you do CPR. How do you do... You know how you do CPR? Yeah, I don't. I do you think. don't know the speed? 100 beats a minute. Uh, so basically, stand alive, stand alive. Ah, 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 stand alive. I'm going to say something weird. Okay. I know it's going to sound dumb. You're wearing your cool shoes today. I am. <laughs> if orthopedic shoes are cool. You did not have to say orthopedic shoes. Well, Why I think you? they're cool. I think they're great. Okay, anyway. And no, functional. here's my weird thing. I, if, I feel like if I learn, <laughs> this is dumb. This is really dumb, but I, I'm going to say it out loud. I feel like if I learn medical stuff... <laughs> <laughs> it scares me because I feel like I'm going to have to use it one day. And that sounds completely weird, but it's so true in my But you'd mind. be thankful that you'd learn it because... No, know, because if she know, doesn't I, learn it, she will never be put in the spot. I hope I never have to use if it. If you're not certified, you can say, I'm oh sorry, I don't know what to do. Even if you know So students, do. if you fall out around Rachel... I'm call Andrew. Andrew. Number one, do it at a distance. And number two... <laughs> And number two, number two, uh, you might want to call somebody before you hit the floor because she don't know how to help you. I will call somebody. She will help you. She will help you tremendously. Nate, come on in. We're filming. If, if though you are. Say hi to hey. tribe. Say hi to tribe. Get in that film. Are, Listen, Nate. Are y'all? What are y'all filming? We're filming tribe time, man. That's why right now. Asking. Yeah. Nobody's getting coffee. No. Well, we got coffee right here. Well, I got lemonade. She brought it. Strawberry. She what did you it. get? Grande Mango Dragon Fruit Lemonade. Minus I knew it was going to be fruit. some dragon fruit. It looks fruit like dragon fruit. I didn't it get looks it. Like dragon I, knew you're going, I knew that he always gets the weird. He likes the, I always the tea. tea. He likes the teas. He doesn't like coffee. You, like tea. a, you have a sweet tooth. I like green tea. And he has a sippy cup. She Ooh, you have a sippy cup. You have a little bit of a sippy cup. Hey, easy, man. This is not a sippy cup. This is a man drink. See, I already got stuff on the outside. This is not a sippy cup. This is a man drink. See, I already got stuff on the outside. Yeah, so this is trap time. This oh, is this your time. phone? Whose yes, phone is that? Oh, man, your phone's beat up, dude. Your phone is beat up. Judge, we're just judging. He was waiting right to here. see whose phone it was so he could... Uh, he Best could, uh, I was going to... Also, I was going to say... But, hey, guys, this is Nate. Nate preached Wednesday. Like, hey, are you? Hey! Yay! So, um, talking about coffee. Yes. The coffee you made last night. Was? Yeah. I know. Actually, I didn't make it last night. You didn't? I did. No! Eh. <laughs> eh. I'm sorry. No. I wasn't going to make. Eh, it, was, uh. it was powerful. It packed a punch. Dinner. No, See, I, we do make it hard. We make it hard. We make it. We make it. We go. Well, we I'm go not going to put like five like grounds bold. in the coffee exactly. filter. I'm so, going to fill right. it up. So this is how they make the coffee. They take the little bean grinder thing. Yeah. And they fill it way above the full line. Oh, yeah. yeah. you just grind put it, at the it fill line. and then pour it in the thing and like. I actually don't. I don't fill it up. Like, I do it at the fill line. I don't fill it up super, super. Okay. Steve goes all the Students, way. Students, let me explain something to you about fill lines on, on, on coffee beans, uh, grinders. Um, grinders, and uh, what do you call it? Pitchers and things like and things. Fill lines are suggestions that you should not follow because it won't start tasting good until, yeah. until you go past the fill line. Uh, or you just buy a Keurig and K-Cups. Wait, wait, wait. Let me ask this question, though. Okay. Did you go back and pour water into the no, coffee maker? No, I did not. I don't do that anymore because I have been shamed. Because I was going to say, if you drink that, that coffee, that yeah, was Yeah, that was you. nasty. I've done that. I, but see, here's the thing about when I did that. Students, by the way, what we would do is I would, in order to keep it going, I'd pour more water in it for the weekies that would come and drink coffee later. But then That's I true. realized, I tasted it, it was nasty. So I wouldn't even drink it after I did it. It was like dirt water. It was. It was basically like, Because yeah, the beans had already had all their flavor drowned nasty. out. 
Yeah. There's nasty stuff. But yeah. Nate's hating you on your coffee making. It was a little, it was hey, just, I was, I was happy. I was come like, back a week after next, we'll try it again. But what was awesome was Daniel's daddy was there. Yes. And I didn't get a, I didn't get a he way. He drank my coffee and he, he didn't did. say a word. But he's more appreciative than Daniel is with coffee. <laughs> well, I was going to say. Daniel Lugo, if you watch this, I called you out. You know, called I out. feel like the older people are the ones that like him bolder. Well, here's the thing, You know though. what I'm saying? Is that are, bad in saying that? Are you calling him old? What you missed was Nate's going, they like it. Boulder. Boulder. Like, that's how they like... This I'm the guy. I'm the guy. I like, you know, the light roast, the more caffeine. Well, see, here's the thing. I did not know that. can't handle that. Did you know that? Older, you were the one that told me that. Dimitri told me that. Dimitri told her. Genius. Yeah, I the light roast, this. the longer you roast it, the more I caffeine. I light roast was for girls. No, the more caffeine. <laughs> that's why you see the breakfast blends yes. are always a light roast. Because you need more caffeine in the morning. Well, they need to yeah. wake you up. I need more caffeine. Gosh. So it has a more, I think it tastes, I don't know. I think it tastes different. It's like a nuttier coffee. It's nuttier. It's crazy. It's the like the I don't even gel. drink the coffee on Wednesday nights anymore. Because she doesn't do caffeine. That is surprising. She doesn't do caffeine. That is very surprising that she doesn't drink. She doesn't do caffeine. I used to drink three or four cups on a Wednesday night. And then she night. had the weird shakes. There happened this. Her left eyeball would shake. One time I, asked, I, was like, <laughs> I said, hey. Oh it hasn't happened anymore. I was, it wasn't caffeine. I asked you the question on a Thursday one time. I said, hey, if I you know, made a pot of coffee, would you drink some? You said no. And you said no. no, and I was very shocked by that. You are. But, but I've been tempted to get a decaf pot because I no. think they have a couple folks that would drink decaf. It's fine. I think sure? it's just me and Dimitri, yeah. I don't think it's anybody else. I don't trust I don't the chemicals. Do you not think you and Dimitri are important enough see, to have your own pot of coffee? There's, uh, this is a whole tangent. This video is going to be good. like 30 minutes long. I'm so glad. This, the decaf, there's two different ways that, that you can make decaf coffee. One is a chemical process. Another is by steam. You can yeah. actually get the caffeine out using steam. I don't like the chemical mm -hmm. process. That stuff. They yeah, that's like, isn't that stuff. formaldehyde basically is what they use? Some kind of formaldehyde that's what they put like dead... Like dead pigs You're gonna have antifreeze in your coffee. Yeah, formaldehyde is what they drain out your blood. I buy the expensive stuff so. in, to keep it preserved. Your body. I buy you Aldi coffee now at home. Do you really? You buy what? Aldi coffee. This moment. They make this, everything. This segment of Tribe Time was brought to you by Starbucks. Coffee. Love y'all. Have fun. Right, Nate, thank you, dude. Thanks dude, for coming in. I'm so glad. That's our special guest, Nate. Peace Can out. You? I had fun hanging out with y'all last. Good job, man. We're gonna do it again. Wow. Oh. Wow. Well, one Christmas. job. After Christmas. There you go. There you go. Don't Thanks. get in that. We have to keep Andrew in there. See you, buddy. <laughs> Love y'all. So for Thanksgiving, I asked these questions like uh, last night. Which is in midweek. three days. Uh, I asked this question the other night. Last week. At midweek about Thanksgiving stuff. We've had this conversation before because mm -hmm. we've talked about Thanksgiving food because it's important. Andrew, you have a Thanksgiving thing you guys. Um, don't you have a dish that you guys do every year for Thanksgiving? A long time ago, I think you said something. What's what's a what's the food you look forward to at Thanksgiving? Well, my house. <laughs> well, <laughs> so bold. We'll, we'll go down. We'll go down the holiday. Who cooks what? Who cooks at each holiday? Okay. So I always make. Well, Thanksgiving, my dad. Except, except for I have banned my family from making mashed potatoes because I make them. Do you like lumpy mashed potatoes or strictly smooth? So you make them the, homemade or from the flakes? Of course, from he would scratch. not be going through all this if it was not. He wouldn't be. It's true. He would not have done this pause dramatically if it was from a box. It's true. No, it's from scratch. I mean, like what, I, scratching the, it from where? I don't know about going, this scratch. Going shopping. What are you me. scratching before you make your mashed potatoes? Well, <laughs> That's just gross. That's well, gross. When what, I go, and who come up with the name for a script from scratch? Have you ever seen people scratch? I don't want those people making my food. You just technically it scratch It could have come from like a version of scraps. <laughs> and someone else made it into scratch. I used to feed my dog scraps from the table. Sorry. So talk about your scratching so mashed potatoes. Going, I always go shopping the day before Thanksgiving. I was making potatoes. a scratch. Sorry, and sorry. it's amazing watching me buy potatoes. Because I go through each potato and I'm like, yes. No. Oh. Yes, so that should be in the, the truck. Store touches everything. Uh -uh. Don't you know what time of the year it is? I don't really care. <laughs> it's, it's flu season. season. It's <laughs> <laughs> that was weird. That was really good. That was. And by the way, the flu's still out there, y'all. Just say it. Just yeah, everyone. Please remember, there are other wash viruses out there. Wash your hands. Just you in wash general. your hands. How much? My, well, no, I scratch my hands. All right, next. What's your food? Uh, What's the thing at Thanksgiving? You well, it's not meat because you you. Hmm. 
And you had a turkey. Mm. Oh, I'm deep frying a turkey. No. Hmm. What's your favorite dish then? I like everything. <laughs> I get like little like you. Cause, cause you get the you're the person. Plate. I get a, like a you're little dollop of every like thing. Because you want to taste it all. Yeah. I feel like Rachel's the person who, even if it tastes like my bad, plate will looks tell like you a wreath. Exactly. She goes, "Oh, it's interesting." <laughs> yeah, even if it's bad, it's like the terrible thing. Oh, it, uh, yeah. I'll try it. <laughs> I wonder though, now that you are in the vegetarian mode. When you're at the Thanksgiving table and you're walking through and you're getting stuff and you come across the turkey, do you give it like the stink eye, like gross? No, you know what? <laughs> My aversion, I think right now, I can deal with like the smell of turkey and chicken and yeah, yeah. other stuff. It's pork. What? So ham. The what? glorious thing that I'm Jesus a, said hurt. is I'm now hurt. available to eat. You have an aversion to <laughs> it. It's the like the smell. I'm so hurt. It's it's just. It smells glorious. No. <laughs> okay. It's, I, what's happening? I'm trying to get rid of the red box. It's bothering it's me. It's bothering. By the way, there's a red box that you guys can't see, but Andrew sees. Yeah. Did I do it? He's telling me to put it on sleep mode. Yeah, I did. Airplane, Airplane mode. mode. Airplane mode. I did it. Sometimes so I have to go so outside you when my mom's cooking the ham. Because it's like, just rude. But that's more. Like, it's I, a we greasy cook, smell. It, it's, it, I don't know what. It's just hard for me oh, to tolerate. I'm sorry. Well, what about bacon? Yeah, I can't do that. Oh, my, dad, and my, dad loves, my dad loves bacon, so he cooks it sometimes in the mornings, and oh, I like wake up. Okay, and I'm like, I, okay <laughs> I will say this though about bacon. As much as I love bacon and would love to have a Christmas wreath made out of bacon, <laughs> after it's been cooked and the temperature and everything kind of settles, that is pretty disgusting smelling. We're, Which we're is not. why when you cook your bacon, wash your pot really fast, or your house will smell like old, we're, soggy, like greasy something. bacon. Something, yeah. It's weird. So I'm so sorry for what so you just bad. heard. Sorry, but she I'm she dots sorry. and tastes everything for Thanksgiving. For so Thanksgiving. what's your favorite pie then? Yeah. Pie? Yeah, yeah. pie. Yeah. Well, here's the thing. I've, I've never had a sweet pork. potato pie or a pumpkin pie. <gasps> I've never tried it. I'm hurt. Is it texture thing? Or are you scared? No, I've just never tried it. I'm hurt. I, well, it's not made out of pig, Rachel. I know, but <laughs> like it might be a texture thing because I've I've never really actually liked. Pie, like even like apple and cherry pie. Mm-hmm. I don't really like it that much. I prefer like cakes and like bread. bread you like stuff. Yeah, you don't like the creamy. The, 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 the yeah, you don't so, like the liquid. I mean, stuff. I've eaten like like chocolate, like the chocolate silk pie. Or yeah, yeah, like that, yeah. You know, with the and bread. you like that? Well, yes and no. Okay. Kinda. Yeah, sweet potato texture to sweet potato pie is different. You gotta like sweet potato, like that texture. So. I mean, is the texture similar to an actual sweet potato? Yes. It's just kind of condensed? Yes. yes. Mm-hmm. I might like it then. But it was a little cinnamon and stuff, though. So, I'm from the north. As we all know, Andrew's from Pennsylvania. Northerner. <laughs> He's an Eagles fan, too, but don't lie against him. You oh. What happened? Are Silence. You Did you just change? Have you changed and no longer an you Eagles fan? You insulted my football team. Oh, you mean the Eagles? The Eagles? <laughs> I just had a low battery thing. <laughs> Hit the low battery button. That one? Yep, top one. That's a low battery. What it do? Mode. I don't know. We'll just keep going. My battery doesn't hold long because my my phone is oh. old. <laughs> so, you're from the so north. From the north. Yes. Pumpkin pie. Pumpkin pie. I'm very hungry, by the way. <laughs> like belly talking? just roared <laughs> right there. I'm so hungry. It was like. Rawr, rawr, I rawr. hope you heard that. So, <laughs> pumpkin pie. Pumpkin pie, we actually put real pumpkin, actual pumpkin, in the pumpkin pie. Is it like, actually, is it, do you use the orange okay, pumpkin? Okay, 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 sorry, wait a second. So you guys are talking pumpkin pie. Yeah. Okay, I hate pumpkin pie. No, wait, I haven't had, I haven't had sweet I like potato sweet or pumpkin. I like sweet potato pie, but pumpkin pie, I'm sorry, pumpkin? Do you know why people eat pumpkin and stuff? Like, why? Because when, um, back when, like, our, you know, crops were growing and stuff like yes. that. When the winter and fall came, yep. they had trouble growing other crops and pumpkins would flourish in the fall time. Really? And so they would turn to that for food and oh, use God. that for a food base and stuff. Pumpkin. Bye, Andrew. We'll, we're going to wrap it up for you. Is that cool? Yes. All right. So Andrew's going to the bathroom now. Y'all say bye, Andrew. <laughs> Hurry. <laughs> so pumpkin pie. But pumpkin just looks gross. 
Oh, you're reaching in there and you're grabbing the book. Oh, that's the thing. I, don't, I was going to ask him. Like, I'm like, use, really like I've never, I've, I've never done a lot of things, apparently. I've never carved a pumpkin, like for Halloween. Rachel! But I've seen, like, it done, and I'm wondering if that is the pumpkin, like, yes. is that kind of pumpkin the it's, pumpkin you use? Yes, and they grind it and mix it and all those stuff, and uh -huh. they have a bunch of seasoning and stuff to it, which still. Did you eat those pumpkin seeds? From yes, the, you can. In like, fact, they're pumpkin? really good if you roast them. I thought about doing that because I have two pumpkins out in front of my house. There you go. So now, now for Thanksgiving, I like meats, all the meats, any meat, every meat that she doesn't eat. I'm just so glad because that's more meat for me to eat. And so when they ask, do I like turkey or ham for Thanksgiving? I'm like, yes, please. Double portions, all of it. <laughs> all and around. a side of bacon. I eat bacon for my vegetables. <laughs> it's all good. I love it. So that's what we do for Thanksgiving. So what else we got going on? Is that good? You good? I think so. That was a good tribe time. I miss filming with you guys. Hope Andrew's okay. His belly started rolling. <laughs> His belly started rolling. Mine started rolling. I gotta get out of here. So I think it's the dragon pee he's drinking. I think Probably. that's what it is. So till next time, say bye, Rachel. Bye. Say bye, Andrew. Roar. He's saying bye from the bathroom. Peace out. <laughs> Peace out. Goodbye. <laughs> <Okay>, <laughs>